Hello everyone, I'm here in Suratani province. I believe this place is called Suan Tasa. Right now the water isn't too pretty, but I heard that you can dip your feet in the water and there's some fish. It's like a natural spa. They had something similar in Erwan National Park. They had those big fish in the water. People, they always will nibble on your feet, on your fingers. Apparently they did the same thing here. So let's see what happens. Let's check it out. So check out all these fish. 20 baht entry fee. And they give you a foot spa. They eat your skin, the dead skin on the feet apparently. It does tickle does not hurt at all they're also biting my calf because my leg is submerged in the water you can see the fish quite well because some of them are silver colored the only issue I have is that there's quite a few mosquitoes but the scenery is really nice it's peaceful it's quiet and again only 20 baht entry fee Look at all these fish. Not a bad place. After the fish spa, I decided to go to a viewpoint to check out uh, the, the ocean, maybe see Koh Samui from a distance. And I ended up maybe taking a wrong turn. I don't know. But this view is quite nice. Looks beautiful. I'm not even sure where this is. I went on the map. There's no English translation, just Thai letters. And I see an interesting chetty in the distance. I'm gonna go check this out first and then check out the sunset. Shouldn't be too long before the sun sets anyways. As always, it's very windy this time of year. It's beautiful. I think that's Koh Samui in the background. I can't guarantee that though, we'll figure this out soon. Interesting temple here. Let's check out the view very quickly. There's a pier, some islands in the background. That's pretty cool. An island connected with a, a big pier. That'll be, that might be nice to check out. sun is setting on this side. I see a sign. Let me go see what it says. Well, unfortunately, it's not in English. Thought it might be. This is what it says. Google, Google Translate this. Google Translate this, because I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'll figure it out soon enough. Okay, let's go inside of this temple here. It's very quiet, there's nobody in here it seems. There's actually some windows. There's a glass, so it's not windy here. And there's no other exit, it seems. So I gotta go back out the way I came. It's very windy outside. I like it. However, the video might sound a little annoying, so I'll try to be cautious with the audio. Alright, let's go back outside and check out the back of this temple. Wow, the sunset is going to be very pretty. It's actually a really cool spot. Let's 
Check out these Buddhas. Their faces are different than what I normally am used to seeing. I don't know the history behind this. This is the back of the temple. There doesn't seem to be much here. Pretty much what you're looking at is this shetty on top. And of course the beautiful view of the ocean. I'm gonna try and figure out where is where. I'll tell you guys as soon as I find out. I have no idea where Koh Samui is. But it has to be over here. It has to be this island, I'm assuming. It's crazy. It looks so close on the map, but... Wow. The opposite side of Koh Samui. We have the sunset. It looks beautiful from over here. Just check this out. As far as the eye can see, we just have ocean. And of course, over here, I have some islands. I think this is the National Park. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, it looks beautiful. The sky is blue. The ocean is blue. The air is clean. Picture perfect view. Of course, we have the temple over here. Suratani province. People usually come here and get out as soon as possible. They go to Koh Samui or the national park like Khao Sok. But this mainland, the main town especially, quite a nice hidden gem. I'd recommend if you're coming to, to Suratani to explore this place a little bit. It's quite nice. This is the clock tower in Suratani. It plays music, which is interesting. A lot of flowers. Exercise over here. Next to a body of water. I'm not sure what body of water this is though. There's the bridge, which I'm going to check out this bridge in a minute. I think the City Pillar Shrine is nearby the bridge as well. Beautiful tower, beautiful clock tower. I'm at Suratani Night Market. I heard it's really good. Only one way to find out, that's to see what they got in store. I'll try not to show too much people's faces for their privacy, but if I see any cool foods, I'll be sure to show you guys. Look over here, squid and pork balls. So 35 baht is a dollar, so this is like less than 50 cents each. They have salmon, so it's like 150 baht, is like uh, 5 dollars, 100 baht is like 3 dollars. Cool. Some cookies. Oh, they have juice. This looks cool. Orange juice. Everyone loves orange juice, freshly squeezed. Some dried snacks. 100 baht, 50 baht, okay. A street burger. Can't go wrong with a street burger. Mackerel. 180, but about six, about uh, six dollars. About smoothies. 30 baht. It's under a dollar for a smoothie. Pineapple. Passion fruit mango. That was good. Maybe I'll get a mango later. And yogurt, some sort of yogurt, some fruit drink. Yeah, quite a busy market. Today's Monday night. 
like some bugs. I know many people want to eat bugs nowadays. Dessert time. American food, staple, a hot dog. Oh, this thing is popular and everyone loves this. Some sort of fried, fried ball with pork, I think. There's a shrine over here. And the opposite side, they have more little foods and stuff. Hey, free money. I don't take that, guys. Oh, what's this? Oh, chestnuts, chestnuts, chestnuts. Peanuts and chestnuts. Strawberry. See a lot of food here, as you see. Honey. What is this? Some honey drinks. Guava. This is me and Thai. Some non-food options. Some toys and some herbs. Some sorts. Can't tell what that is. Clothing. Persimmons. And jackfruit. I'm gonna get some jackfruit actually. Interesting market so far. Got strawberries. Some sugared strawberries. Gooseberry and some nice grapes. Some cool clothes. I got myself some jackfruit. This is 20 baht. Like, what is that? 80 cents? 70 cents? Something like that? Oh, check this out. This is bamboo sticky rice. They have the sticky rice they cook in the bamboo. Another popular Thai dessert. I'm not a big fan of desserts, but you do. They have a lot of options here. Oh, look at this stuff. This is snake fruit. Popular. Oh, this looks good. Coconut something. Bingsu also. Oh. I'm always suspicious about seafood though being left outside. Quail eggs. And more fruits. Look at that. More clothes. Yeah, it's a chill market. They got some good stuff here so far. So good. If you're gonna sit down, they have some, some food over here, restaurants. This is good. I actually like this kind of stuff. Large 59 baht, so like $2 for a large cup. Small cup 40 baht. Not bad. Your lottery tickets. And a bunch of more snacks. I think we're almost at the end of the market. Oh, look at this corn. Koto cup. Oh, look at that. Cool color. Purple corn, blue corn. This is water chestnut, also pretty good too. This pomelo is giant. Red pomelo and pink guava. Huh, 20 baht. I think I'll get this as well. So I got jackfruit and guava. This is 40 baht, slightly above a dollar. We've reached the end of the night market. It's a cool spot if you want to get some, some cheap food. Now I'm going to head back and go to the City Pillar Shrine. I'm here at Suratani City Pillar Shrine. This place looks like a castle. It's beautiful. And check out this bridge. This bridge is phenomenal. It looks amazing. And look at this tree. It's actually not a tree. It's a light post and they simply dressed it up as a tree. You see? Looks like a tree from here, but it's not. It's really interesting. This bridge, the lights are awesome. Looks so pretty. 
And yeah, the City Pillar Shrine. It's extremely impressive. I cannot go inside as they close the gates, but I'm gonna go on the side. Maybe see if I get a better view. Unfortunately, I cannot get any better view besides this one. But still, just check out the City Pillar Shrine. It looks beautiful when they light it up at night, at least. Great place. I'm gonna go over the bridge and check out a park. I hope it's open, I hope it's lit up. Otherwise, I'll just quickly go back to the hotel. <laughs> All right, let's check out the Island Park. I'll show you guys in a bit. Man, that light is awesome. The light show is really cool. I don't know why more people don't come to this town. It's such a nice, chill place to spend a day or two. This is very pretty, very fascinating. After going over the Rainbow Bridge, I'm here at Kolampu. It's actually an island, and there's a really cool park here. I'm gonna go for a quick workout. Let's get it! First, we start off with some dips. They're really good for your shoulder and your triceps. You wanna go fast up and slowly down. <laughs> 